In this video, we are going to be building a template to calculate variables with a compressor or, or compressors in stage compressing. So it is a whole package. We want to calculate the power, power rating, the breakers power. We want to calculate the stage compression ratio. We want to calculate overall compression ratio. We want to calculate the temperature at discharge at every stage, everything in the in the oil package. So let's look at the template. So first of all, we need an example. This is the example we're going to be using for this template, and it's similar just to your lab number thirteen. That's what you're going to be doing. So it's better you just use the template because, uh, in case you need it for in the test, it will be easy for you to do the calculation without just starting all over. So it's better to always create a template. Now let's look at what you want, what you have here. We got the specific gravity. Okay, the template, this is the, what you need for the input. You need the stage one suction pressure. Actually, it shouldn't have, shouldn't have put, okay, we need that. We need stage one suction pressure. We need the also the temperature then we need the specific gravity those three numbers those are what you need to find the compressibility factor so we we have the now this downstream pressure is pressure at any stage you have to be you have to figure out uh you need that to be able to calculate the stage compression ratio now we're going to you see how we're going to do that now so that's the breed bags i don't need i need to demonstrate how to use this again i just assume you know how to find the z using breed bags you just input the pressure inlet pressure that's 400 the temperature is 60 and the specific gravity is 0.7 then the mole fractions you put 000 so that will give you the the Z. Um, okay, so let me open up the template and put the input and construct the template. So let's look at it. So that's the template. Now what? Some values I already provided there. That's that's. Okay, now, my, what's my pressure again? 900. No, 400, sorry. Inlet pressure is 400. Temperature is 60. Downstream pressure is 900. Now, gas specific gravity is 0 0.7. Breed bags. Okay, let me. I forgot. Let me go get it. Breed bags. Let me open it. The pressure is 400. That's the inlet pressure. Temperature is uh, 60. Specific gravity is 0 0.7. Zero, zero, zero. So that's now. This is you have one more lab left after this, and that lab too, you need the Z factor. You need to okay. I'm going to paste down. Base value. Okay, so that's easy. Now the next thing is number of stages. Now let me. Leave. Now the next two, you have to dis be able to distinguish between number of stages and number of steps. You have to know the difference between them. Now let me look at the question again. Say, undergo for 
stage compression. Okay, so number of stages is four. Number of stages is always the number of compressors. So that's the total number of stages. So we have four compressors. So that's four stage. Now, how do you, what is going to be the number of steps? Number of steps is going to be the number of steps between the two pressures you are given. You are given the suction pressure at the first stage, 400. Then you are given the suction pressure at the third stage. Now, if you are given the number of compressors there is three, between one to three. Uh, first stage to third stage, you have three compressors because, but before you are, because you are given the suction pressure at both of them, then the number of steps will be three minus one. If you, if the number of steps is to be three, it has to be suction pressure at the first stage, then delivery pressure at the third stage. It has to be from suction to delivery to be, to, for you to count all the compressors. But if it's from suction to suction, then the number of steps is the number of compressors minus one. So since you are given the suction pressure at the first stage as 400 and the suction at the third, so the number of steps is two. So let's go back to our template. So here, number of compressors, number of stages is four, four stage compression. But number of steps between this 400 and 900 is two. Okay, so we, once we get that right, then what is the, let me go back. I didn't remember that. I think the 200, I think I changed this to, let me look at this. Uh, the, the flow rate, I changed the flow rate to 20 million, okay? So I'm going to, sorry, this one is 20 million, not 200 megastar. If it's 200, that would be 0 0.2 million. But I change it to 20 million. So I'm going to put 20 million. So I just put, it has to be a million. So I have to put 20 there. If it's 200 mega standard, that would be 0 0.2. So, but let's leave it at 20. So now the next thing is just, we, we have all the input. This are given, just leave that. That's the specific gravity at constant pressure I mean, specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume. So those are given values. Now, look at this. You have a table here, just like the last one. So we're going to be using lookup to pick up the right number. So let's look at. Now, the first thing again is the temperature in Rankine. So equals. Sixty plus four sixty. Okay. The next thing is K. You know, remember, you see, you can see I didn't give you K here because I've given you the specific heat capacity. Now K is always CP divided by CV, so I'm going to put equals CP divided by CV. This time we are calculating it ourselves. 1.27 is you know, it's close to 1.3 that we are used to. Now, F. This F here, this, you, uh, in compression, we will deal with a lot of Fs. The same thing with uh, pipeline. Now, this F here, capital F, is the F for the brake horsepower you know, the brake horsepower is 22 multiplied by stage compression ratio multiplied by number of stages multiplied by flow rate multiplied by factor. That's the factor there. Now, if you read the note, the factor depends on the number of stages. If it's one stage compression, the F is one. If it's two, the F is point. 1.08. So I'm going to use lookup there to look, pick for the. So, where do I. Okay. So we've put. We've already put the number of stages here. So you have to put 
it's gonna pick 1.14 okay let's see how you do that equals look up what is it gonna look up it's gonna look up for the number of stages so it's gonna read here number of stages that's C15 it will look at the number of stages here then it's going to find it where comma you're going to find it here okay. so it's going to read number of stages from there so where is it Okay, I have to start all over again. Okay, I say comma. The number of stages. I mean, it has to read it from here. Okay. Oh, I already named it stage, okay. I already name you can just type stage then. Then comma. Then what's gonna be the return value? F. So it's gonna be whatever I find. Okay. Okay, I already named that to be HP factor. Okay. You couldn't find the name, so let me just use reference rate. The top stage, I'm gonna do what? Okay, you know what? I will, I will rename it properly now. Let me let me rename it. So I'm gonna say from here to here. Okay, is is there? The name is there. From here, is yeah. So why is it saying you can't find it? Here? Okay, now if you can't find the name, just type the reference there. So this one is what F F five to F. F5 to F8. Okay. So instead of stage, I'm going to put. <sighs> this mouse is annoying, you know. Okay. F5. 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 To F8. I'm going to remove the name. Then instead of BH, I'm going to put G, G5 to, somehow I can't find the name, I already named it to G8. So you can just type the reference directly. You cannot tell me, you can't find that. Okay. That's, okay, I see it again. Instead of comma, I put F5 to O. Oh, instead of comma there, I put dot. Comma. Okay. Okay, good. So it's look up C15. It's going to look for c15 from f5 to f8 then it's going to return the value from g5 to g8 good so it's going to be 1.14 good so the next step is to find the compression ratio per stage the stage compression ratio we know is the pressure equals uh, 
let me put the pressure ratio let me put it in bracket i open the bracket uh, that's the 900 that's the downstream slash upstream yeah i close it now raise to power what i shift six raise to power one over number of steps let me put that in bracket two one slash number of steps which is two i click on that comma so that's the stage compression ratio 1.5 okay good the next step is overall compression ratio overall compression ratio is going to be equal stage compression ratio raised to power shifts number of stages shift six then number of stages which is four now you see the difference between how to find stage and overall now so overall is five point overall means five point it means if i start from 400 i'm going to end up the pressure will be 400 multiplied by 5.05 so the last pressure which is the delivery at the fourth stage will be 400 multiplied by 5.06 okay that's what it means and then the next thing is ft ft is the temperature factor by what factor is the temperature going to be multiplying that's what you have the okay that okay that's the this formula is the state compression ratio this is the ft ft is also state compression ratio equals no that's not ft there. ft is equals state compression ratio which is 1.5 here c26 shift c to raise to power k minus 1 over k so i have to put it in bracket i open the bracket i have to put k minus 1 to bracket 2 so i open another bracket k which is what i calculated here 1.27 here minus 1 I close that bracket slash k I click on k again then I close the bracket so that's the temperature is going to be multiplied by 1.09 at every stage so what's going to be the delivery temperature for stage one that's going to be equals that's the factor there i multiply ft raised to power got that stage one first stage will be raised to power one raised to power one shift six one you don't even need to do that so that will be the temperature multiplied by the temperature by the inlet temperature we're going to be multiplying by that all the time star because well, that's what the temperature is going to be multiplied 520 which is this temperature there now it's going to give you the temperature in rank kind so to convert it to say Fahrenheit I do minus 460 107 so for st the delivery if there is no intercooler for st stage 2 will be equals stage compression ratio this one I know the ft sorry ft raised to power now for a second stage it will be raised to power two shift two multiply by the temperature which is 520 all the time then minus 460 so if there is no intercooler the temperature at the second stage will have been 158 Fahrenheit the third stage equals ft raised to power 3 
multiply by 520 minus 460. Now, you know, I just, you don't have to bother yourself with this uh, doing up to four. Because if I give you a three stage or two stage, you won't have this three and four. But just leave it there because in case you need. Now, compressors in practice is never more than four stage compression. Nobody does five stage, you know. It's never more than four. So you can just leave it at four. Even though you don't, you might not need all of them. For example, if I give you a two stage, you don't need, there's nothing like third stage, fourth stage. But we still calculate it. Equals for the first stage, last stage, four. FT shift this cap four, that's first stage, multiply by. 520 that's the temperature minus 460 so at the end of the fourth stage the temperature will be 276 okay the next thing is to find the density although i don't okay let's do this we are used to this density equals 2.7 multiplied by pressure always the inlet pressure 400 multiply by specific gravity slash divided by z that is z then slash again divided by temperature temperature 520 when you're doing calculation in gas your temperature must always be in rank kind Although eventually I recalculate it back to Fahrenheit here. Yeah? But when in calculation, it must be in rank kind. Okay. So that's the density. If I know the density, I can find the mass flow rate. Is the density multiplied by equals density multiplied by the flow rate? That's the mass flow rate. Flow rate. That is. Remember, this is 20 million. So I have to multiply again by what? By 1 million. Star 3, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to read 20, then multiply by 1 million. That's the mass flow rate in pound per day. Once I know the mass flow rate, I can find the heat remove. Now the heat remove, that's delta H is mass flow rate that's each remove per day mass flow rate multiplied by cp multiplied by the change in temperature so that's easy i just do equals mass flow rate which is this multiplied by cp that's what i gave you separately so that you can use it that's cp that's c18 then multiply by change in temperature, I have to put it in bracket, bracket, uh, that's T2, now remember that is the delivery pressure, delivery temperature at the first stage, which is here is C29, which is 107, minus, it doesn't matter whether you use Fahrenheit because the difference is going to be the same thing. Whether I use Fahrenheit or Rankine. So I'm using the Fahrenheit. It's 107 minus 60. That's the inlet. Okay. If you, even, if you convert it to Rankine, it's going to, the difference is going to be the same thing. So, so that's the amount of heat you are removing from the gas every day we're almost there then the last thing you want to calculate is the break horse power break horse power equals 22 multiplied by look at the formula there state compression ratio multiplied by oh 22 sorry 22 multiplied by state compression ratio 
RS RS 1.5 multiply again by N is number of stages I'm gonna number of stages is 4 then multiply by by what Q flow rate in million the flow rate is already in million so I'm just click flow rate then multiply by your F multiply the F we calculated from lookup which is this that's it that's all now with this template I can answer any question on this uh, compressor now what is the temperature if I don't use intercooler at the end of the third stage, that's that there. So whatever question you have, you just need this template to answer all the questions.